on first an uncrewed test flight, getting ready for a crewed test flight. So let me, if you could pull up the slide I have. I think this just shows all the, the benefits that we're getting out of this uncrewed mission. You know, there's a lot of things that you can prepare for on the ground um, and through analysis and test, and we do all that on the ground, but there's nothing like actually flying a mission to be able to really check out, you know, our, all the, the key systems that we'll need to be exercising for to get ready for our next mission. Like uh, Mr. Gersemeyer said, you know, even though this is a test mission for us and for us getting ready to fly our crewed test flights, we also have been very aware that this is a mission and a vehicle that's going to the space station, and we need to make sure that it can safely go rendezvous and dock with the space station and, um, and undock safely and not pose a hazard to the International Space Station. So the team's been very focused on that. Um, and, and as we've been getting ready for this review, we've been keeping that focus in mind, the, the safety of the ISS crews, but yet making sure that we're checking out the key parts of the system for us getting ready for our crewed missions. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. It's, uh, it's a week away from launch, a little over a week, and, um, and the FRR is a major milestone, and uh, it's, a, it's a big team, and uh, we're coming together to review our work and make sure that everything is good to go, and, and so that is a very... And, and we're also doing this in, in, in the room where all the, the shuttle FRs are heard have been, have been done. So it's a, it's a really big deal for, for SpaceX and, uh, and, of course, for me personally, too. I do want to um, go back a little bit to Dragon 1 and just point out the, uh, the differences. Can we roll the first um, video, maybe? Yeah, so this is Dragon 1, and um, there's a couple sequences here. We have a lo um, lot of flight heritage by now. We had 16 missions. Um, Dragon 1, as you just saw, comes up on the arbor and then hovers under the station. That's very good to see there. And then gets gets grappled by the by the arm or gets caught by the arm. And and that is one distinct difference between uh, Dragon 1 and Dragon 2. Dragon 2 will actually dock at the station on its own and will not use the the arm anymore. It will also not come up on the on the arbor, at least not initially, but um, on the V bar, which is in in flight uh, flight vector direction. Uh, there's a couple other differences. For example, um, Dragon One has a uh, solar array, and Dragon Two has it on the on the side. The key, the key difference, and I'm going to show you a little bit more about uh, Dragon Two here in a second before we go there. Um, yeah, can we can we roll the second one just in, in right now? The second video. Okay, here we go. So that's new, new Dragon, uh, crew, crew Dragon or Dragon 2. Um, it's about the same size, 20, 27 feet tall, and uh, has room for seven, seven astronauts. That's the, obviously the, the, the main difference inside. There are seats for, for astronauts. There's a live support system. Um, there's a, uh, an interface, a console, um, so that the astronauts can uh, you know, take, take over in, 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 if necessary and, uh, and perform certain functions within Dragon. Um, you can also see on the outside there's, um, there's a the heat shield is between Dragon and that trunk. The trunk looks distinctly different. It has fins and um, has a solar array on one side. It doesn't have the, the foldable uh, solar array that uh, Dragon 1 used to have. Um, that's because we cut down on the power budget. We have enough power with uh, less solar solar cells. And um, let's see what else. Uh, the um, a super Draco. Super Dracos are bigger. Draco are our 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 um, thrusters on 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 Dragon, and uh, the small thrusters are called Dracos, and then the bigger thrusters are called Super Dracos. And there's eight Super Dracos around um, Dragon. And these eight Super Dracos are acting as a launch escape system. It's an integrated launch escape system that can work all the way from the pad, um, basically with the vehicle on the ground, all the way to the end of the um, the, the second stage burn. Can actually perform the uh, a, an orbit insertion in case you're you're a little bit short after the uh, the flight. So it's an integral. Um, safety system from beginning to the end, and 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 that's obviously a, a, a huge point in terms of safety for the astronauts. Um, we we demonstrated the in-flight abort system in a paddleboard. Um, I want to say two years, three years ago, maybe it's even longer. 
don't remember four years ago already. <laughs> and uh, time flies, yeah. And um, and we are we gonna have a uh, a pad, uh, not in, a pad, an in-flight abort mission um, after this mission with this particular um, capsule uh, after it, uh, it uh, comes back. Um, we've done a lot of testing too. We've done. Um, you know, system level testing in, in thermal vacuum chambers. Um, we've done acoustic testing on Dragon, uh, also the integrated part. We tested every single component. We performed, I don't know how many qualification tests, all, all um, in cooperation and uh, step by step with, with NASA and, uh, you know, filling out verifications and making sure that we meet all requirements. Uh, we also did 17 parachute tests. Um, so there, there has been a lot of work that in the, in the past, um, I want to say two, three, four, five years, that, that basically uh, culminate in this particular flight, and, uh, and that makes it even, even more exciting on, on, on for our side. Um, there's a third video that shows the work we did on the pad, so maybe we want to roll the, that video now. Okay, this is the uh, the final configuration, Dragon 2 or Crew Dragon on top of Falcon 9. You can see this is pad 39A. We made um, respectfully a few changes on the on this historic uh, launch pad. Uh, you see a crew arm that basically brings the astronauts over, um, and, and and of course, you know, for the first flight, there's no astronaut. There's just uh, cargo in this case uh, being loaded, um, and that's actually uh, taken. Those pictures have been taken at the static fire, which happened uh, roughly two weeks ago. So we, we tested that integrated uh, vehicle with Falcon 9 on the launch pad for a couple seconds uh, run up uh, just to be ready for, for a launch then by next week. And um, see if I got everything. Yeah, human, human spaceflight is, is basically the core mission of SpaceX. So we are really excited. Um, to do this has nothing more important for us than, than this endeavor. And we really appreciate the opportunity from NASA to, to, do, to, to actually do this and, uh, and have a chance to fly, fly up to the station, obviously demo run, and then, then later on, um, hopefully soon, in flight aboard and, uh, and, and demo two. So um, this is really, really, really very much appreciated by everybody at SpaceX. Uh, we're excited about that. We, we want to do our best job, and uh, and we feel that we we are in a good position for a launch next week. <laughs>